Thank you so much, uh, Chairman Durbin. Thank you for your leadership and for your extremely powerful statement just minutes ago. Uh, and for this opportunity for all of us to come and talk about the importance of the Women's Treaty. I'm very pleased to be here today with my colleague from the Department of Justice, Sam Begentos. And I also want to uh, mention the heroic work of one of the witnesses who will follow us, Waj Mafro, who is here from Afghanistan. I know firsthand of her courage, uh, and there is no one in this room who knows more personally what uh, this treaty represents and the good that it's done in her own country. I want to talk today about the Women's Treaty and what it represents uh, and why U.S. ratification is critical to our efforts to promote and defend the rights of women across the globe. And I hope that the, my full statement can be put in the record. Women's equality has rightly been called the moral imperative of the 21st century. Gender inequality and violations of women's human rights, including the use of rape as a tool of war, acid attacks, female infanticide, female genital mutilation, so-called honor killings, the trafficking of women and girls into modern day slavery, and so much more is nothing short of a humanitarian tragedy of enormous proportions around the globe. In far too many places, women are still prevented from participating fully in parliaments, village councils, peace negotiations, their work is circumscribed or prevented altogether. The majority of the world's illiterate are women, and the HIV AIDS pandemic has a woman's face, and the number of infections that grow are often those among adolescent girls who are victims of sexual violence. Where women cannot participate fully and equally in their societies, democracy is a contradiction in terms, economic prosperity is hampered, stability is at risk. Standing up against this inequality and oppression and standing with the women of the world is what ratifying the Women's Treaty is about. In my time in the State Department, I have been privileged to visit many countries and meet with women from all walks of life. And one question I am asked wherever I go anywhere in the world is why has not the United States of America ratified CETA? U.S. ratification of this treaty matters because the moral leadership of our country on human rights matters. The United States has long stood for the principles of equal justice, the rule of law, respect for women, the defense of human dignity. And women around the world look to us as a moral leader on human rights. And yet, when it comes to this treaty, we are one of a handful, as you said, among Iran, Somalia, and Sudan, states with some of the worst human rights records in the world. We are the only industrialized democracy in the world that has not ratified the Women's Treaty. And some governments, in fact, use that fact that we have not done so as a pretext for not living up to their own obligations under it. Importantly, ratification will also advance U.S. foreign policy and national security interests. President Obama's national security strategy recognizes that countries are more peaceful and prosperous when women are accorded full and equal rights and opportunities. And as Senator, Senator Clinton, Secretary Clinton has said, the subjugation of women is a threat to the national security of the United States. It is a threat to the common security of the world because the suffering and denial of the rights of women and the instability of nations go hand in hand. Ratification of this treaty is not only in the interest of oppressed women around the world, it is in our own interest as well. Around the world, as you said, women are using the Women's Treaty as an instrument for empowerment and progress. And there are many accounts, there are a few in my testimony, examples of how countries are holding, how uh, rights advocates for women's rights are holding their country's commitments to the treaty uh, to bring constitutions, laws, and policies in line with its principles of non-discrimination. And I've seen firsthand its positive influence. U.S. ratification will send a powerful and unequivocal message about our commitment to equality for women across the globe. It will lend much needed validation and support to advocates fighting the brutal oppression of women and girls everywhere who seek to replicate in their own countries the strong protections against discrimination that you have listed earlier that we have here in the United States. And it will signal that the United States stands with the women of the world in their struggle for human rights. So for all of these reasons, we urge the Senate to move forward 
with ratification at the earliest possible opportunity.